member. Today we will. Uh, today our topic is about candle candlestick theory. Uh, my name is Jessie Dean. Okay, so let's see the outline of today's course. The first one we will talk about the market outlook. The second one. I will teach you how to uh, do candlestick analysis. The third one, candlestick pattern. We will talk about the two candlestick patterns and three candlestick patterns. Then the last one, candlestick on time black hole. So today I will teach you some special functions of Homely software. Okay, so firstly let's see the market. This is the STI index. This is the monthly chart. Okay, so we can how to judge the monthly chart. This is the STI index. I use red and white circle because red circle and white circle is simple for us to judge when to buy, when to sell. When you see the red, the white circle turn to the red circle, which is the buy point. Then uh, red circle means you can still hold your stocks. Then. Red circle turn to the white circle is the sell point. Then if you see the white circle, you'd better hold money. Okay, so firstly let's see the market. We can know that recently the monthly chart of STI is still the red circle, right? So it tells me uh, it tells us that the monthly chart is okay. So don't worry about the market. So you can know that the that the circle is still red, which means you still can have some patience, uh, have some of the market still have some opportunities. Okay, so this is the KDJ. We can use KDJ to judge the periodical uh, high point or low point. Okay, so we know that when we see the J line upward cross the K and the D line, this is the periodical high low point. So we can know that if you see the DJ the J line below 20, then go up again, which means the market may have some rebound. So we can know that here the J below 20, then upward cross K and D. This is the low point. So we can know that if we follow this candlestick, which means here is the buy point, then we can catch some good opportunity. So this is another buy point is here. Next buy point is here and uh, here. So if we follow this function, we can judge whether the monthly chart is good or not. Because in our investment philosophy, long term first, short term next. This is the monthly chart of STI. From the chart, we know that for the market, still have opportunity. So no need to worry about the correction. Okay. Then we can see the next one is for daily chart. I use homely rainbow to judge the daily chart. Okay, so we know that this is the homely rainbow. The white line stands for the long term. Then the blue uh, blue line stands for the medium long term. The yellow line stands for the medium term, and the red line stands for medium uh, short term. Okay, so we know that for the Long term trend, the white line still down, which means the market is in the downtrend for for long term. Okay, then we can see here, then the market go upward break through the white line, but we can see the white line still down, which means you cannot buy. Okay, so if the market can upward break through the white line, which means the long term is good, but you should remember for the short term. If you see the red line go up, which means the short term is good. Then if you see the media or the yellow line go up, then you can operate stocks for medium term. Okay. So you should pay more attention to the resistance of white rainbow. Okay. So this is the daily chart. You can see this one. This one is STI index, right? Uh, CCI. Then this is the STI, the daily chart. For the daily chart, it's still the white circle, right? If you see the white circle turn to the red, uh, turn to the red circle, which means the short term is good. Then this is the CCI. If you see the CCI upward cross, up, uh, cross up 100, this so which means the market is good, is strong. So we can see that if the market, if the CCI upward cross the 
100 parameter, which means the market is good. So here, the market is good. Then we can see here, if you see the mark, the red line, the CCI can upward breakthrough the 100 parameter, which means the market still have chance, okay? So this is the next one. Then this is the golden section, which can help us to judge the uh, support and the resistance. We can connect the low point to the high point. Then we can know that for the current market, here is the support. So no need to care about this. Then you want to know where is the next resistance. So here is the resistance. Here is the next resistance, okay? So you should pay more attention to the two, this is the point, 2800, the first support. Then 2830, the, set, the first resistance is, uh, the first support point is around 2830. The second resistance point is around 2800. So this is the short term support. Then for the resistance, the first one is 2860. Then the next one is 2900. So you should pay more attention to these points which means the, which is the support and the resistance for the current market okay so if you see here if the market for then we can see this is the gap right so if you see the market fall below the 2800 then you should know that this is the falling space so we should pay more attention then we can see the next one. This is the chips distribution. It's the special function of homely software which can help us to judge the support and resistance. So we can connect the high point to the present price, okay? Then we can know that this is the chips, the longer the chips, which means the stronger resistance and support. Okay, so we know that during this period, this is the stronger resistance and support. So we should pay more attention to this, to this area. Okay, then we can see some stocks. Recently, we know that so many stocks so strong, right? So the first one, let's talk about this stock. This stock is Okay, then we can see this one. Firstly, we know that this is the new stock, right? But how can we know that this stock is strong and which point is the good buy point? So long time ago, we talked about this stock. Okay, so we can know that for the candlestick, so here, can we judge that this is the low point? No, right, because there's no significance. Uh, there's no significance. Okay, then we can see this one. Can we know that this is the low point? Yes. How can you know? We cannot judge, right? Then this one, can you check this one as the low point? We don't know yet, right? Okay, then this one. Can we judge this is the low point? Can or cannot? Because you can see here, this is the low point, right? The low point is lower than previous two candlesticks and lower than next next two candlesticks. So this is the low point, right? Okay, but can we know that here? Can we buy or not? We don't know, right? So how to judge this point? This this is the good buy point, okay? Then maybe we can use some functions of homely software. So first one, we can use the chain expert because chain expert can help us to judge when to buy, when to sell, and it's very uh, useful. Then we can see here for this point. Then we can see for the. The overall trend for the long media long term trend, you can see the green line, right? Green line is the trend is in the down trend, okay? Then if you see the green, this is the green down candlestick, which can help us to judge the short term buy point and sell point. So when we see here, green turn to the red candlestick, can we buy or not? How to confirm this is the buy point? Then we can use this one to judge. So firstly, we should know that this is the down trend, right? Because the candlestick is below the main line, below the green line, and the green line is down. So here is the down trend. Then if you, we see the, this chair is in the down trend, the green candlestick turn to the red candlestick, can we buy or not? 
we should wait, we should wait and see, right? So we should this the three lights, okay? If you see the three lights, at least three lights turn to purple, which means the goodbye point. So we, if we see the candlestick like this, can we buy or not? No, because only two lights turn to purple. So we need to see another day. Can we buy here or not? This is the buy point, right? Why? Because we can see already one, two, three, four, five. Five lights turn to purple. So which means this is the buy point. Then if we buy, we can earn some profit, right? Then here. Green turn to the red candlestick again. Can we buy here or not? Yes, because at least three lights turn to purple. So this is the buy point, okay? But you should know that for the medium long term trend, the trend is still in the downtrend. So you should know that we only can operate these stocks do some rebound and short term rebound, okay? So you can know that here is the buy point that you still can keep it, okay? So we we can know, we can see next one. This is the strong stocks, right? Recently so much strong. So if you still have these stocks, which which point, which price is the resistance? If we only see the candlestick, which price is the selling price, sell point? If you only if you use candlestick to judge, maybe half of the candlestick is the resistance, right? If you use Chain expert, the special function. If you see the green, the red candlestick turn to the green candlestick, it is the buy point. It, it is the sell point. Okay. So you should use the function to judge when to sell, when to buy. Okay. So let's see the next one. It's novel. Long, uh, for this period, many members want to know whether this is the buy point or not. If you buy here, you will lose money because the trend is still in the downtrend, right? So maybe you think that here is the buy point. Then if you get in, you lose money again, right? So why we cannot buy the stock like this? Because the trend, the total trend, the overall trend is the downtrend. Okay, then we can, can Take the trend expert for the pure for the overall trend. This is the downtrend, right? How to judge? You can see the this is the trend trend expert. The main line is green and down, and we can see here. This is the this is the medium long term long term downtrend. Okay, so if you want to buy here. We can see the candlestick like this. If you see the candlestick, green turn to the red candlestick, can we buy or not for short term? Yes, because at least the three lights turn to purple, right? So here is the buy point, but you should know that. If you buy, you cannot keep for long, okay? Because the trend is still in the downtrend. So we can see next day, green, red candlestick, red candlestick. So here, red turn to green. Can we sell or not? We should sell quickly because the chain is still in the downtrend. So we should sell. Then we can keep. We can avoid some risk. So if we see the candlestick, this is the green one. Can we buy again or not? No, we cannot buy. Okay. So this is some uh, functions. Then today we will talk about the candlestick, and I'm. You can learn some technical knowledge of candlestick from this lesson. This is a function of candlestick. The candlestick is also called Japanese candle chart, which is originated from Japan in 18th century, used for transaction of rice. Okay, then we see next one. And we should know that candlestick analysis belongs to miracle chain analysis. The candlestick is, is used for recording the price data. This is the candlestick. Then the, just a point of technical analysis, okay? So this is the function of candlestick. Because I think some of you learned this technical, learned the candlestick before. So I hope you can enhance your knowledge, okay? We can see this one. This is the candlestick, okay? So if you don't know how to judge, then we can see this is the candlestick. Green candlestick means the price up, 
Then red candlestick means the price down, okay? Then we can see for the green candlestick means the price go up, went up, go up. So this is the open price. This is the low price because we can see this is the shadow. This is the low price. Then this is the close price and this is the up shadow. This is high price, okay? This is for the green candlestick. For the red candlestick, the low price but the open price is here. This is the close price, then this is the high price. So this is the candlestick. So if we see this is the shadow and this is the open price, so we can know how to judge. We can see the next one, meaning of candlestick. For the body, it shows daily, weekly, or monthly trend situation. The price changes the more, the longer the body is. So the body can help us to judge the momentum. Then the next one, shadow. It shows the tending sense of the trend and resistance and support. So if you see the down shadow, downward shadow is long, which means this is a stronger support. Then if you see the up shadow, which means the longer the up shadow, the more resistance, okay? So the next one, up shadow, the defensive position of the shirt. The lens shows the force of fight back, so which has resistance and support effect to the future price. So shadow can, this is the signification of the shadow. This is the meaning of candlestick. Then we can see next one, the Daoji. Because how to judge this is the Daoji candlestick. So the Daoji candlestick, it shows the balance situation between the short and the long, the balance. Okay, but the balance is temporary and uh, partial. The position of Daoji in the chain and the situation should be taken into consideration. Okay, so this is the Daoji. So we can see the open price and the close price is the same, which means this is the Daoji candlestick. So what's the deep signification of Daoji candlestick? It shows the balance situation between short and long. But we don't know whether the trend will continue or not. So this is the candlestick. Then we can see next one. How to use candlestick to judge the trend? Three elements of candlestick. So the first one, yin and yang means the green and the red candlestick stand for overall trend. So how to know, later I will we see this candlestick for the, so we see this one. Then we can see the market. So we can see here, this is the green candlestick and the red candlestick is the bullish one and the bearish one, okay? So if you see the number of bearish, bullish candlestick more than bearish candlestick, which means the chain is up chain, okay? So we can see one, two, three. Then three candlestick, then two bearish candlestick. So which means that this is the up chain. Then we can see now, one, two, three, four, five. Five bearish candlestick and one bullish candlestick. What's that mean? For the short term, this is the correction, okay? Not the up chain. Okay, so this is the overall chain. Then we can see next one. Body stands for internal energy, okay? So the next one, shadow stands for 10. This is the three elements of candlestick. Then we can see the yin and the yang means the green, bullish and the bearish candlestick stand for overall chain. For the up chain, the number of bullish candlestick is more than the number of bearish candlestick. Means the green candlestick more than red candlestick. Then the next one, down chain, the number of bearish candlestick uh, Green, uh, red candles, uh, green candlestick is less than the number of green candlestick. So the body stands for internal energy. Okay, then we can see this chart. This is the green one, this is the red one. If you see this one, this is the balance. We know that this is Daoji, which means this is the balance between the long and the short. Then if you see the candlestick like this, the body is bigger and big, bigger, which means the power of rising is strong. Then we can see here, the body of the red candlestick is larger and larger, which means 
the market is not good, okay? So this is the difference. Then we can see next one. Let's see this is the overall trend. For the overall trend here, one, then we can see here, two red candlestick, then one green candlestick. What's that meaning? Maybe the we can see the number of the candlestick. Then one bearish, one green candlestick, one red candlestick, two green candles, two red candlestick, two green candlestick. Which this is the sideways, okay? Then we can see here. One bearish candlestick, two bullish candlestick. What's that meaning? This is the up. Then we can see this one is the same. One, two, three, four, five. Five green candlestick, only one red candlestick, which means the trend is in the up trend, okay? The overall trend is up. In this one, this is the strong stocks, right? Recently we can see so strong. Then how to judge? The one bearish, one bullish candlestick, right? And the one bearish candlestick. Then one, two, three. The number of green candlestick more than the red candlestick. What's that meaning? Which means that the trend is in the up trend. So you still can keep it, right? Then we can see this is the one, bad, one, two, three, four, five. Only one red candlestick. What's that meaning? Still trend right but you should pay more attention now then we can see the current price only two green candlestick three red candlestick so can you still buy or not cannot because the chain is reversed okay then we can see this stock then we can see this one so if you see here The two green candlestick, three red candlestick. So what's that meaning? This is the downtrend. So we cannot buy. If you buy, you will lose money, right? Because the overall trend is not good. So you should pay more attention. Then we can see the next one. Let's see this stock. Then we can see this stock. One, two, three, four, five. Then we can see the overall trend is downtrend or uptrend. Then we can see the two green candlestick. One, two, one, two, one. So this is the sideways right. Then we can see this one. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two. What's that meaning? The uptrend or downtrend? The sideways because we can see the body. Okay. Then we can see the next one. Samsung. Samsung is so strong, right? Okay, so we can see here from this uh, at this point, so we can see the candlestick. So can you judge this chain is still up or down? Okay, we can see one red candlestick, two green candlestick, one red candlestick, two green candlestick. This is up, so you should sell or not you still can keep it because the overall trend is good. Then we can see this day. The price upward cross the upward break through the previous high point, create a new high. So last time I told you that we should pay more attention to the stocks which can create a new high, right? So okay, then we can see this one, create a new high again. Can we keep it or sell? You still can keep it because strong, right? Okay, so today the price still up. So we should operate a strong stock like this. Okay, then if you use any function to judge, read an uh, trend expert. Okay, so if you use trend expert to judge, here can we buy or not? Here is the buy point. Here is another buy point. So here is buy point, right? So if you follow this function, maybe you can earn money in the stock market. Okay, then we can see the next one. The stock like this. So this is the overall trend. For this candlestick, one red, one green, one red, one green, one red, three green, two red, one, two, one, two. Then you can know that this is the sideways, right? Then we can see here, one, two, three, four, four 
red candlestick, only two green candlestick, down trend or up trend? Okay. Down. So you can see the price starts to go down, right? Okay, then we can see this one. One, two, three, four, five. Five red candlestick, only two green candlestick. What's that mean? The down, right? So you cannot buy the stock like this. So you can see the price still go down, okay? So this is the candlestick. Then we can see next one. This is the, another candlestick, which is called maple tree. Still strong stock, okay? So how to judge it? Then we can see here. One, two, three, three green candlestick. Only one red candlestick. Then two green, one red, three green, right? One, three, up trend or down trend? Up, so you still can keep it. So we can see here, one, two, three, four, five. Five candlestick, only one bearish candlestick. So maybe someone will sell in here, right? But you should remember that the trend is still up because the green candlestick is more than green candlestick. So this is the trend is good. You still can keep it, okay? So we can see this one. This one is for, for the first resource. It's still good share, right? So how to judge? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. For the this stock, good or not? Yes. Then two bearish, one bullish. Keep or not? Still can keep. No need to sell. Okay. So the but the uh, red green candlestick and the red candlestick can help us to judge the overall trend. Then we can see this one is the same for the jumbo. Okay. Then we can see this stock. For during this period, sideways right. Then we can see two green candlestick. Then we can one. Then one green, two. So this one up or not? Cannot continue go up. So now you can you need to wait and see. Okay. So we can see here. If you see the green, 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 which means the trend is up. Okay. So this is the candlestick. Then we can see this one. This is the chart. The this is the balance. Okay. So if you see the up shadow, it's longer and longer, which means here. If you see the, this is the. Uh, this is the candlestick like this, the up shadow is larger. And we can see this candlestick appears at the top. So here, which means that you should pay more attention because the resistance is too high. The short, this is the short, okay? Then we can see this one. If you see the candlestick like this, this is the bearish candlestick, the red candlestick. If you see this one, the downward shadow is larger, it's longer. Which means here, may the price may go up again, okay? So this is the reversal signal. Then we can see this one. This is the candlestick, okay? Then we can see about this one. For this candlestick, this is the Dow G candlestick, right? This is the balance. So we don't know whether the trend is good or not because this is the balance. So we can see this one. The upward shadow, then this is the green candlestick, so which means that the, the price may go up, okay? Then this one, this is the bearish candlestick. You can see the shadow, the downward shadow is larger than the, is longer than the uh, up shadow. Then we can see the price still can go up, okay? Then we can see next one. This is the some stock. Then we can see here, this is the Dow G, right? So when we don't know whether the price can go up again or not, but we know that this is the balance between the long and the short. If the next day, this is the bad, the bullish candlestick, the green candlestick, which means the price may go up. If, if we will see this is the red candlestick, the price may go down again, okay? So this one teach, uh, can show us we should pay more attention, okay? This is the turning point, reversal signal. Then the bottom confirmation by candlestick. How to use candlestick to confirm? This is the bottom. 
The first one, a long bullish candlestick, arise over 3.6 percent after slowdown. After slowdown, so if you see for then we can see some stocks. <coughs> then we can see this one. Why we see that this is the good one? Then we can see here. If you see a long bullish bullish candlestick, green candlestick appears. Okay, then after slow down, this is the bottom confirmation. The next one. The day the first long bullish candlestick arrives at the same day, the volume must soar, but not much. So you should check by the volume. Then the next one, the close price afterwards, which cannot be lower than the previous closing price. So we should see whether the close price is, uh, is higher. Then the last one, usually the current share price would be back to a half of the long bullish candlestick's body or retrace at the bottom of the long bullish candlestick's body. What's that meaning? Then we can see uh, some stocks. Then we can see... Okay, then we can see this stock. This is the big bearish candlestick, right? And we should know that. If you see the, this is the bearish candlestick or bullish candlestick, the long bearish or bullish. So if you see this candlestick, half of the candles, half of the body is the support and the resistance. Okay, so we can see the next day. This is the long bearish candlestick, the bullish candlestick, right? On high volume. So this, so what's that meaning? Half of the candlestick is the support. Okay, then we can see the next day. This is the bottom confirmation. Then we can see the next day. The price cracked half of the candlestick. You should know that this is the support. Maybe you have another chance to buy, okay? Then we can see just a touch half of the body. Next day, go up again. Can we buy or not? You can buy again because this is the bottom confirmation. Then if you buy, you can catch some good opportunity. Okay, then we can see this one. The price start to go down again. And we know that here is the support. Why? Because this is the gap, right? So here is the support. If the next day the price can go up again, it's the buy point. So you still can catch some chance to make some profit, okay? So this is the knowledge. Then we can see the next one. This is the chart, okay? So we can see the price go down. Then this is the low point. Then the price has some rebound. Then go up again. So if the price correct to the previous low point, this is the support. So here, maybe we have chance to buy. Then we can see, this is the big bullish candlestick, right? Okay, here is the high volume. So here, we know that this is the bottom confirmation, okay? Then if you see the next day, the candlestick of just the touch of half of the body or the previous low point. So here is the buy point. Here is another buy point. So the price go up because this is the bottom confirmation. Then we can see the next one. Just now we know that the price just touched the previous low point, not half of the candlestick, right? Okay, the next one. This one, the price just touched the half of the candlestick. So we can see the price drop. Then the long bullish candlestick appears on high volume. Okay. Then we can see this is the bottom confirmation. So when to buy, when to sell, when when is the good chance, good time to buy. Okay. So we can see if you see the price correct to half of the candlestick. So here is the buy point, okay? Then here, if you buy, you can earn some profit. This is the one buy point. The second buy point, if you see the price touch 
the previous low point here is another high point. Okay, so you should know that if you this see this is the confirmation bottom confirmation candlestick, we should know the half of the candlestick and the close price of the candlestick. Okay, this is the buy point. Then we can see the next one. That's now we talk about the bottom confirmation by candlestick. So how to judge the top? Top confirmation by candlestick. Long bearish candlestick arise at the top. The next one. The day the first long bearish candlestick drop less than 3.6% by risk is extremely big. The closing price is almost the low price. So what's that meaning? Let's see some chart, then you can understand better, okay? The top the confirmation of candlestick. This is the, uh, this one, no need to care, this is the sum. Then we can see this one. Then the price will go up sharply, right? Then the big bearish candlestick appears on high volume. This is the big volume, okay? Then we can see here, then this is the price. Okay, so we know that this is the top confirmation, okay? So if you see another day, the price can rebound to the close price, the high, the close price of the back, uh, the bullish candlestick, bearish candlestick. So here is the selling point. Okay, so you should prepare to sell. So this is the first one. The next sell point is here. When you see the price can rebound half of the candlestick, you should sell two sell point. Okay, so this is the top division, top confirmation. This is another top confirmation. Okay, so we can see here the price had some rebound. So the big bearish candlestick appears on high volume. So here is the set, you should know that this is the top confirmation. If you see the price can go up, can have some rebound, half of the, uh, rebound to half of the candlestick, you should sell, okay? So here is the sell point. Then we can see next one. The usage of candlestick, the doji, balance of buyers and the sellers, okay? So this is the competition. The high price, low price, open price, and the close price are the same. So the position, it is no significant if doji appears during the sideways. If you see the share is in sideways, there's no significant, okay? Then the price may go down if doji appears at the top. Okay, the next one, the price may go up if doji appears at the bottom. Okay, but there's no signification if doji appears during the sideways. Okay, you should remember. Then, judge by the volume. The first one, the price may go down if doji appears at the top with increasing volume. So if you see the doji appears at the top, you should prepare to sell. The next one, there's no direction if doji appears at the top with same volume. So you should check by the volume. The price may go sideways if doji appears at the top with the decreasing volume. The price may go up if doji appears at the bottom with increasing volume. There's no direction if doji appears at the bottom at the same volume. So the last, uh, the last one, the price may go may continue going down if doji appears at the bottom with decreasing volume. This is some uh, points for using doji candlestick to judge. Okay, you should judge by volume. Then we can see this one. You need you just read it. It's okay. That is not important. So through the candlestick pattern of the next day, the price may go up once the candlestick of the next day is bearish, is bullish. Then the price may go down once the candlestick of the next day is bearish. So you should know. If the doji appears, then the next day the candlestick is green candlestick is the buy point. Okay. Then if the doji appears the next day the candlestick is uh, green uh, is the red candlestick. You should know that maybe you should prepare to sell. Okay. So now, just now we talk about the doji. Then uh, now we learn how to 
judge the candlestick pattern. The first one we will learn the inverted inverted T candlestick. It is reversal signal. The uptrend will end when the invert T candlestick appears at the high point. Then the downtrend will continue when the inverted T candlestick appears in the wave. So what's the inverted T candlestick? So we can see this one. They only have the up shadow, there's no downward shadow, okay? And the close price, the and the close price and the close price are the same, okay? So this is the inverted T candlestick pattern. So if you see this candlestick appears, you should know that the price may go down. This is not good, okay? Then we can see next one. neckline candlestick like this this is the honey neckline candlestick because we can see there's no up shadow only the downward shadow okay this candlestick appears at the top frequently and it is bear market for short up if we see this candlestick appears at the top frequently we know that for short term we should sell then we can see the shadow is long which is double of the body moreover the candlestick usually open high okay so if you see this candlestick appears at the bottom so you should know that the market may have some chance then we can see the next one is here the honey neckline candlestick we can see this one the candy line candlestick appears at the top, right? But we can see this is the green or gray. This is the red candlestick. So you should know that here we should prepare to sell, okay? Then if you see like this, the candlestick then the price down. Then this candlestick is green candlestick and appears. So we can know that here may have some chunks. So like this one. This is the bottom right, and this is the uh, green candlestick. So which means that we can see there's no up shadow, only down shadow, right? So which means that here, the market may have some chance, may go up. So we can see the next one. You can see this one. The price go up, and we can see this is the, the hanging neckline candlestick because there's long, Sh downward shadow and this is the red candlestick which means here is the selling point okay the price may go down may reverse okay so you should know that how to judge some selling and the buy point through the candlestick then we can see how the candlestick the buyer's chance is enhanced the price starts to rebound once the hammer appears. Meanwhile, volume is the key factor. The low point of hammer candlestick is stop loss point. Okay, if you see the price fall below the low price of the candlestick, you should stop loss. Then we can see this one. This is the hammer candlestick. So we can see here. This is the hammer, right? Up shadow, there's no, this is the long, uh, downward shadow, there's no up shadow. Then we can see this is the bearish candlestick, the red candlestick, which means here we should sell, okay? Then we can see here, what's the difference? The same shed, the same candlestick, but if this is the red candlestick, this is the green one. So if you see the candlestick's green one, here is the buy point. Then if you see here, is the red candlestick, is the sell point, okay? You should uh, remember. So it's different. We should check by the color. If the color is red, which means it's the sell point. So if the, candles, the color of the candlestick is green, here is the buy point, okay? It's easy to understand. This is the hammer candlestick. Then we can see the material candlestick. What's the difference? Because we can know that for this candlestick, there's no up sh downward shadow, only up shadow, right? Okay, the longer the upward shadow is, the stronger the reversal is. So if you see the longer the shadow is, the stronger the reversal is. And the shadow is at least 
double of the body. Okay, so you can see the lens. Then we can see here. This is the candlestick. If you see the candlestick appears at the top, and we can see the only have the up shadow. Here is the selling point. Okay, you should prepare to sell. And here we can see the volume is so high, and this candlestick is material candlestick. So here is the sell point. Okay, then we can see the next one. Just we talk about this one, so you should remember. If you see the candlestick appears at the top on high volume, you should prepare to sell. Okay. <coughs> Then we can see next one. The pregnant candlestick. What's the pregnant candlestick? So we can see this is the body. The next one, Dao Ji appears. So this called pregnant candlestick. This is pregnant candlestick. So the composition, one long bullish candlestick or bearish candlestick. And we can see the next one, subsequent Dao Ji. Okay? So the Daoji is within the first candlestick. So we can see here, the Daoji within the body of the candlestick, okay? Then the meaning, the market will continue going up if it appears in the uptrend. So if you see this candlestick appears in the uptrend, which means that the market will continue going up, okay? Then we can see this one. The market will continue going down if it appears in the downtrend. So if you see the share is in the downtrend, then the this candlestick appears in the downtrend, which means that the market will continue going down. You cannot buy any stocks, okay? So we can see the chart. The chart is like this. Then if you see the price like this, this is the uptrend, right? Then we can see the pregnant candlestick appears, which means that the price may go up again, okay? Then we can see here, this is the downtrend. The pregnant, the pregnant candlestick appears. This, this one, we should know that. And here, it's not back white. The price, the market may continue go down. Okay, so this is the signification of the candlestick, cross, uh, pregnant candlestick. Then we can see this one. What's the difference, okay? Then we can see this one appears at the top, right? So we can see this is the market. This candlestick, pregnant candlestick, appears at the top. So you should know that if the next day the price goes down, so we sh we can so we can check by the volume. This is the candlestick, the big bullish can bullish candlestick. The next candlestick is Dow G, and we can see the volume is more, right? So the next day, if the candlestick go down, we should know that here maybe it's the reversal signal, okay, for the market. Then we can see next one. This one. What's the difference? Okay, so this is the downtrend, right? Because the lower low and the lower high, this is the downtrend. Then we can see the candlestick like this. This is the pregnant candlestick, right? Because this is the long bearish candlestick. This is the Dow G. Then we can see this one. The next day, the price, the price go up, right? And we can see which one, which point is the good buy point. If you see the candlestick upward break through the downward chain, downward ch down chain line, here is the five point. Okay. So if you see here, this is the reversal signal. But when to buy, when to get in, here is the best five point because the price upward break through the down chain line on high volume. So here is the five point. Then we can see some, we judge, we shouldn't judge whether this belongs to can, uh, pregnant candlestick or not. For this one, belongs to candlestick, belongs to pregnant candlestick or not. This one is cracked or not. What's the composition? What's the combination? If you see the, this one, the Dao Ji, 
the you can see this is the dodgy right. It's inside the candlestick. This is the correct, okay? So the first one, correct or not? Correct. Then this one is correct. This one is also correct. But this one, correct or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Because the this one is up. It's not it's not inside the candlestick, right? So this one is wrong. But for the the first one, second one, and the third one is correct. The first one is not is wrong. This is the uh, pregnant candlestick. Then let's see the candlestick pattern for two candlesticks. First one is bearish in a thing, bullish in a thing. Back broad cover and the beginning of down. Today we learn the two candlesticks. Then later we will learn the three candlesticks pattern. Okay. The first one is for the bearish in a thing. What's the bearish in a thing? If you see here. This is the bullish candlestick, right? And this is the bearish candlestick. The body of the bearish candlestick can cover the body of the bullish candlestick. So this is the bearish in the thing. If you see the bearish in the thing appears, you should pay more attention to the risk, okay? So the price may go down. Then we can see this one is the same. The body cover the body of the bad bullish candlestick. So this is a bearish in the thing, which means the price may go down. Okay, so you should pay more attention. Then we can see this one is for the bullish in the thing. Okay, what's the bullish in the thing? This is the red candlestick, right? The green candlestick. The body cover the body of the bearish candlestick. This is the bullish in the thing, which means the price may go up. The market may have chance. So this is the bullish one. Then we can see the next one. This is the dark crowd cover. What's the difference between dark crowd cover and the bearish in the bearish in the thing? What's the difference? So we can see here. This is the candlestick. This is the bullish candle, bearish candlestick, the bullish candlestick. So we can see the the body of the bearish candlestick cover half of the bullish candlestick, not the cover the whole candlestick, only cover half of the candlestick of the half of the bullish candlestick. So here is dark crowd cover. This one is also not good. If you see this candlestick appears at the top, you should prepare to sell. Okay. The next one is for the beginning of down. Okay, so you can see the beginning of down. The bullish candlestick cover half of the bearish candlestick. Okay, so this is the this signal. This signal is also good. This is the beginning of down, which means the market may have chance. Okay, so we can see some examples. Then every day we can connect, click Singapore market and find some high volume stocks. Then later I will show you how to select a strong, uh, how to pick some stocks. Okay, so you can see this one. This is the flat top. Okay, so the flat top. What's the flat top? This is the top point, the high point. Then the price go down again. Then the price had some rebound. Then we can see cannot break through the previous high point. Here is the sell point, okay? Because this card the flat top, you should prepare to sell, okay? Then we can see the next one is for the flat bottom. Flat bottom, we can see this is a low point, right? Because this candlestick higher than previous two, then higher than next two, uh, lower. So this one is the low point. Then you can see the price starts to crash and uh, touch this previous high point, previous low point. So here is the flat bottom, okay? Then we can see some stocks. The first high volume stock is this one, but this one, we know that there's no bank money inside. This one also not good because there's no candlestick pattern appears. So can we buy this stock? So firstly, we can use candlestick to judge the trend is good or not. So we can see the 
تو بریش وان تو وان بریش وان بریش وان بریش وان بریش واس دا دایرکشن ساید ویز رایت اوکی دیس ایز دا ساید ویز If you see the share is inside ways, we cannot buy, we cannot sell, we just wait and see, okay? So what to get, then we can see this one. We can see this candlestick. So we can see the candlestick like this. What's the difference between these two? It's the same, right? What's the pattern? Bearish, bullish is nothing right. But what's the difference between these two? Because just now we talk about bullish is nothing. It's good, it's a good signal, right? But why this one? If we buy, the price go down. What's that mean? What's the, what's that meaning? Okay, then we can check by the volume. This is the volume, right? The first, this is the first volume. The next volume, the volume is lower than the previous low volume. What's that meaning? You cannot buy. But why this one is good? Because the volume is higher than the previous one, right? This is the bearish in the thing. So what's that meaning? Maybe you have chance, right? So the price is in sideways. Then we can take this candlestick, half of the candlestick, right? We should pay more attention. If the price just uh, touch half of the candlestick and uh, didn't fall, it didn't fall, below, so we still can keep it, okay? So we can see the price still above half of the candlestick, right? Then here, we should uh, see this candlestick, just uh, touch half of the big bullish candlestick, so we should check by the next day. If the next day, the price can go up on high volume, what's that mean? This is the support, okay? Then we can see next one. This one no need to, yeah. Then we can see this one. For this candlestick, for till now, it's still in sideways because one bullish, one bearish, one bullish, one bearish, okay? Then we can see this one. CNMC. Whether this stock is still good or not. Okay, then we can see this candlestick. Then the price go up on high volume, okay? Then we can see the next day, the price had some rebound. Then we can see here. This is the big bullish, big bearish candlestick, right? We know that half of the candlestick is the resistance. So if you see the price can upward break through again, maybe you have chance. But if cannot, you should prepare to sell, okay? Then we can see next one. This one can buy or not. Still cannot, because we can see here. This is the bearish, bullish in the thing, right? Maybe you have chance, but we can see here. If you see this one, we know that half of the candlestick is the support. But you should, well, you should check whether it can be supported or not. Okay, then we can see next day. Support or not? Not yet. Then we should check by here because the price already fall below half of the candlestick. We should see whether can touch here. Then just uh, touch here, right? But we should know. Can we? So we can see the price. The price, the candlestick fall below the previous low point. So can we buy or not? No, we cannot get in, okay? Then we can see next one. So this is the, let's see this stock. This stock is strong or not? We can use, just now I taught you this method to judge. Okay, so this candlestick, what's that mean? The vanishing, bullish in the thing, right? Oh, oh, then the candlestick cover the bearish candlestick and the, the volume is higher, right? So here, maybe have chance. And we should know that half of the bearish, bullish candlestick is the support. So we should remember, if we see the next day, the price drop half of the candlestick, right? And we can see this candlestick, the big down shadow, right? 
What's that meaning? The support is strong. Okay? If you see the next day go up again, so you have another chance to buy. Then if you cannot buy here, then we correct to here again. Can we get in or not? Yes. So you can earn some profit. If you can buy here, the price is 0 0.335. Now it's already 0 0.395. You still can earn money, right? OK, then we can see this share, strong or not. How to judge? We can see here, one bearish, one, two, three, four, four bullish, four bullish, one bearish, two bullish, strong or not, still can hold, okay? Because this share still can hold. But you should pay more attention to the previous high point. If the price can hit, can create a new high, you still can keep it. You all, you have chance to go in, okay? Then we can see this one, broad wave. Okay, so can we buy now or not? Too high. Too high already, okay? So we can see the candlestick. We can see here, the candlestick upward breaks through the previous high point. What's that mean? You have chance to buy, right? Okay, then this one, but for this candlestick, so high volume, and uh, this candlestick appears, so can we buy or not? Yeah. Not now, okay? Because you missed a good chance. Then we can see this one. Low sleep is good or not? Okay, then we can see this candlestick. How to use candlestick to charge? What's the candlestick? What's this candlestick pattern? Start from uh, the beginning of down, okay? So because we can see the, this candlestick cover half the, of the candlestick, right? Okay, so we can see next day. The price has some rebound, right? Because we can see two bearish, two bullish candlestick, one, two, one, three. What's that mean? Strong or not? Strong. The trend is strong. Okay, because the non the candlestick pad the green candlestick more than red candlestick, so the price has some rebound. Then we can see this candlestick. The first reason where is the first support? Half of this candlestick is the first support, right? And where is the next support? Half of this candlestick. Okay. If you see the price can correct here. Maybe you have another chance to get in, okay? So this one, maybe have a chance. Then we can see the, the next one. Then we can see this is another new candlestick, right? So we know we know that recently so many new stocks went up. Okay, then we can see this one. What's the pattern? The bullish in the thing, right? Okay, and the volume is higher than the previous one. If you see the next day, four down, half of the candlestick, right? So maybe you have a chance to buy again. So you can use this method to judge. Then let's continue. Just now we talk about the two candlestick pattern. So now we learn the three white soldiers. What's the three white soldiers? Let's see the future. The second candlestick close price should be higher than the first one close price. Then the third one should be higher than the second one. It means that the stock becomes stronger gradually. The three white soldiers. What's that meaning? What's the pattern? This is the three white soldiers. We can see the green. This one is higher than this one, the close price. Then this one is higher than this close price. So the close price is higher and higher. So like this one, three green candlestick. So this one is called three white soldiers, which means the chain is still strong because the close price is higher and higher, okay? Then we can see the next one is this one. One, two, three. The close price is higher and higher. This is the three white soldiers. 
which means you still can keep the stocks, okay? Then we can see this one, one, two, three. Three white soldiers still can keep, right? And we can see one, two, three. Three white soldiers. This one, one, two, three, right? This is the three candlesticks pattern, okay? Then we can see next one. One, two, three. One, two, three. The three white soldiers then the price can continue to go up. Then this one, one, two, three, the price continue to go up. So this is the three white soldiers. Then we can see the, this one. One, two, three. The high price, the close price is higher. This one is also three white soldiers. Then the price go up again. But we can know that this one we can see this one is the red candlestick, but you should know that the open price is higher than this close price. So this one is the fourth red candlestick, okay? This one is still the bearish can, bullish candlestick because the open price is higher than this close price, okay? Then we can see the next one, three black crowns. Let's see the future. The second candlestick, close price should lower than the first one close price. And the third one should lower than the second one. It means that the stock become weaker gradually and investors should sell. So we can see this one. This is the three black clouds. One, two, three, three vanish candlestick. And the close price is lower and lower. Okay, which means the, straw, the share is weaker. So we can see this one, three black cross. Then this one, one, two, three, which means the price still weak. Then this one, the share is still weak. The share is weak, so you cannot buy, okay? If you see the three black cross appears, you should know that the share is weak or the market is weak, so you cannot buy stocks, okay? Then we can see this one, three black then the price still go down. Then we can see three black cross, the market still go down. So we can see, we can use this one, three candlestick pattern to judge whether the share is stronger or weak, okay? So how to use technical filter to find some candlestick pattern, okay? Then we can connect, click the technical filter because this is the filter platform of Homely Software. And we can see this is the technical filter. Then we can click the candlestick pattern. Then we can see here the candlestick pattern signal, okay? Then we can see so many, so many candlestick patterns. The first one is engulfing pattern, the hammer head, the coming line, shift pattern, evening star, flat bottom, flat top, three white soldiers, three back rows, shooting star, Army cross features the Chodoji block the pattern down green and uh, upside gap two cross lip cap lip gap dark cross tower morning star. Here we can find some candlestick pattern. Okay, so how to filter? Because we want to filter uh, if we want to filter the incoming pattern or a flat bottom. We can find it. Okay, so how to use this one? Firstly, we should click this one. It's technical filter. Then we should click the candlestick pattern here. Then if we want to find some morning star or shooting star, this is the morning star, right? Okay, then we double click. Then the morning star appears. Then we just click filter. Then we can filter some stocks which uh, belongs to morning star. Then we should know that whether there's candlestick pattern uh, uh, suitable for the morning star pattern. Okay. Then if you want to find some flat bottom, you can double click flat bottom. Then you can click filter. So there's no only one stocks appears. Then we can know that this is the morning star. Only one stocks. Then we can click. So this is the this one, like the morning star, right? This is the morning star. Morning star have the three 
candlesticks. Okay, so this is the morning star. Then we can find maybe three bottom or flat bottom or three white soldier of, of flat bottom. Then we can click filter. Then we should check there's whether flat bottom appears. We can see so many stocks appears right. So we should check one by one. Okay. So the first one is this stock. Flat bottom. If you select some stocks, you should uh, check whether can buy or not. Okay, then this is the flat, flat bottom. Then you can find the good stocks. Okay, so you can use this function to find. Then if we want to find some candlestick pattern, we like the engulfing pattern. Okay, then we can double click, then we can filter. Then we can check this one is not good. Then we can filter, we can find some strong stocks among these stocks, which were we filtered just now, okay? So if you want to find some candlestick pattern, you can use this, can fill this method to find some candlestick pattern, okay? Like the morning star or doji or the shooting star, three white soldiers, or evening star, or covering, or hammer head. You should uh, use this one to filter, okay? So this is the engulfing pattern. This one is good or not? Not good. This is the bearish engulfing, right? Then we can see this one. This is the bullish engulfing, right? Then we can see the next one, bearish engulfing, not good, okay? So it can help you to filter some candlestick pattern. Then we, let's continue our class. So today I will teach you one special function of Homey software, which is called time black hole. So the time black hole can help us to judge the turning point and uh, the support and resistance, and also can filter, okay? If you filter some stocks, you can know that this, which one has the turning point. So the Dow theory develops the function of time black hole to seek the changing point of price according to summary of price movement. The price trend and time circle and the relationship of price and time so as to help investors to grasp the chance of price and time combination. Okay, this is the time black hole. So how to find the time black hole? Firstly, we should click this one, time black hole, okay? So then we can see the time black hole appears. Then let's see this stock. This stock, the time black hole appears, but whether can buy or not, we should see whether the price can, this is the time black hole, which means this is the turning point, okay? But what is to get in? Here, we know this is the turning point, but we should see the six candlestick. If the six candlestick can upward break through the time black hole, you should know that the price may go up. But we can see here, the price is far below the time black hole, can buy or not, you should wait and see. This is not the good buy point, okay? Then we can see, next one, this function, this function includes five candlesticks. It appears the third candlestick. The hole is longer if the third candlestick is longer. Otherwise, it is shorter. The candlestick is the longer, the power is stronger. So let's click TBH and you can find time black hole. Then put the graphic on the maximum and narrow three times. Okay, then. So we can see this is the market. This one can help us to judge the turning point, right? If we see the time black hole appears, because there are three, one, two, three, four, five. The time black hole includes five candlesticks, okay? Then if you see the candlestick, the time black hole appears, which means this is the turning point. And we also can use time black hole to judge the support and resistance. You can draw the line. Then this is the support or resistance. If you see the price still here, what's that meaning? 
This is the support, right? Then if you see the price upward, upward breaks through the time black hole, this is the good chance. So the price go up again. Then we can see the next one. The time black hole appears, right? So we know that. We also can connect this point. Then the price go up again. Then we can see the price cracked here. Maybe have some support, okay? Then the price here. If you see the price fall below time black hole, this is the support, right? Okay, then price go up again. So this one can help us to judge this. Then we can see, see there's time black hole appears or not. Okay, then we can see this candlestick. Through the two time black hole appears, right? So this is the turning point. But can we buy now or not? We cannot buy, but we know that this is the turning point, right? If you see the next day, this is the support. So we can draw the line. This is the support. Here is the support. So if you see here, this is the support. The price is still support, right? So if you see the price can go up, maybe here is the buy, buy point for short term. If the price can go up, upward break through the time black hole, maybe you have chance, right? If fall below, can we buy or not? We cannot buy, okay? So let's see the next one. This is the candlestick on the time black hole, okay? So we can see this, this uh, shares. The time black hole appears, then the price fall below the time black hole, the price go down. Then we can see this one, upward breaks through, then the price go up. Then fall down, the price go down. Then if you see the next one, the price upward breaks through, maybe you have chance to get in, okay? This is the candlestick on time black hole. Then we can see this one. This is the can this shirt is called Ezra, okay? So we can see this candles, this one. Time black hole appears, then we should know. If we see the next day, the pre the candlestick upward breaks through the time black hole, which means that here you have chance to get in, okay? Then we can see here, time black hole appears here. We should know that this is the turning point. If the price fall below the time black hole, you should prepare to sell, okay? This is not good. Then we can see here, time black hole appears. If you see the next one fall below again, you should stop loss. Then we can see time black hole appears, you should know. If the price can go out or break through the time black hole, you have another chance to buy again, but only for short term, okay? So this is the candlestick on the time black hole. We should, if we see the time black hole appears, we only know that this is the turning point. But we cannot take this point to the buy point, okay? We should check by the candlestick whether can upward break through the time black hole or fall below, okay? So it's very important. Then we can see how to know, yes. Yes. When you break through, you can buy. Yes, here, break through, you can buy. But if you see here, this is the support, right? If fall below, you should stop loss. If fall below, the lowest occur, then you can sell. Yeah, here, but you should know that time black hole can help us to judge the turning point. And uh, it also can help us to judge the support and resistance. If you want to use this one to judge the bad sell point, you should combine other indicators, other functions, okay? So if you see time black hole, which means this is a turning point, but we can we know that this is a turning point, but we don't know whether it can go in or not. Then how to filter, how to find, how to know which stocks have the turning point through the time black hole, how to know that. So you also can use technical filter to find, okay? So firstly, we should click the technical filter and the click homely signal group. Then we can click time black hole. Then you can filter which stocks have the turning point, okay? So I show you how to do that. So firstly, we should click the technical filter. Then we can click the, the signal. If 
find the trust node. Uh, so we see this one. You should clear the homely signal group, okay? Then you can find the time black hole. I cannot find here. It's homely signal group. Because this one, there's no, but if you, uh, if you can, if you use this one to filter, maybe you can click this one, time black hole, okay? I think your software have this function, have this method, because in this homely software, maybe there's no this one, no time black hole. So if you, uh, you can practice and hold when you back, you can click the technical filter, then you can click time black hole, then you click filter, you change the date, then you click filter, then the shares will come out, then you can check which stock have the time black hole, okay? Yes. Same day. Yes, same day. So it can help you to filter some stocks which have the turning point. Then you should pay more attention, okay? If the price can upward break through, maybe you have chance to go in. If the price fall below, you maybe you should uh, sell short, okay? So you can use this one to filter how to know that. Click Take new future, then click homely signal group, then click time black hole, change the date, then click filter. It's okay. So you can use this one to filter some stocks. And let's let's review the course. So today we learned so many candlestick pattern, right? And I hope you can understand. So let's review it. Maybe my course is a little fast. Then let's review. So firstly, today we talk about the candlestick theory, right? And uh, we use the function to judge the STI index. The first one we use red and white circle. This is the red and white circle, the STI index, right? We know that this is the STI index for the monthly chart. The circle is still red. So you should know that monthly chart is also good. So no need to worry, okay? Then we can see here, the J line still up. So you still can keep. But if you see the J line is below 20 and go upward breakthrough, maybe you have chance to get in, okay? This is the periodical low point. So you also can use this one to filter, okay? Then if you use this one to filter, you should click the KDJ, the J line, the, KD, the J line is below 20, then upward cross K and D, then you can filter some stocks, okay? This is the STI index, so for the monthly chart, the candlestick is still red, so you still can keep. Then we can see this one. This is the homely rainbow, right? For the long-term trend, the white line is the long, the long-term trend is down, okay? So for the short-term trend, it's still good. So you should pay more attention to the resistance of the white rainbow, okay? Then we can see the next one. This one is the CCI. If we see the CCI close up the 100, which means that the price may have some chance to go up, okay? So this one, we can use golden section to judge where is the support and resistance. And we also can use chips distribution to judge the support and resistance. Because there are so many functions in home software which can help you to judge support and resistance and the, the buy and sell point and how to filter. Okay, so we learned the candlestick pattern, right? This is the candlestick. Green is the price up. Then red candlestick is the price down, okay? So this is the meaning of candlestick. And we can see this is a doji candlestick. If you see the candlestick, the open price and the close price are the same. So this is a doji candlestick. So three elements of the candlestick. Yin and yang stand for overall trend. Body stands for internal energy. And shadow stands for ten. Then we can see the next important point. So the bottom confirmation by candlestick. Maybe here it's a little complicated. Then we can see this one. If you see the price drop, then 
the big bearish, big bullish candlestick appears on high volume. So we should know that this is the bottom confirmation. But when to when to buy here? If you see the price drop, then touch the previous low point. Here is the first buy point. Okay. The next buy point is here. The price correct to half of the candlestick, then go up again. So here is the second buy point. Okay. So this is the method, and it's very useful. We can see the top deviation. You see the top deviation like this. The big bearish candlestick appears on the at the top on high volume. Then if you see the the price can had some rebound and touch the previous low high point, which means you should sell. And uh, if the, you see the price touch half of the candlestick, you should sell again. Okay. So this is the Dow G and the inverted T pattern. If you see the inverted T pattern like this, you should prepare to sell. It's not good. Then we can see here is the handy candlestick. If you see this is the bearish handy uh, hammer candlestick, so you should prepare to sell. Okay. Then if you see the next one, this is the bearish handy neckline candlestick. So this is the sell point. Let's see the hammer candlestick. This is the hammer candlestick. If you see the bullish hammer candlestick, which means this is the the, part, the market may have strong trunks. Then if you see this is the bearish hammer candlestick, the price may go down. Okay, so we can use this candlestick to judge whether the price is at top or bottom. Then this is the material candlestick, this one. So this is the pregnant candlestick. Okay, so you should pay more attention to this one. And uh, we learned the bearish in the fame, bullish in the fame, dark cloud cover in the beginning of time. Okay, so if you see the candles, the candlestick of the bearish candle, the body of bearish candlestick cover the whole bullish candlestick. This is the bearish in the fame. Okay, then the bullish in the fame is the opposite. Okay, then we can see next one, dark cloud cover. This one. So a half of the candlestick. This is the crowd cover. This is the beginning of the month, okay? Let's see, this is the flat top. If you confirm this is the top point, then if you see the price touch the previous top point again, here is the sell point, okay? Flat top. Then this is the flat bottom. Then three white soldiers. Then if you see this is the three White soldiers, the close price is higher and higher. So this one we tell, can tell us that the share is stronger. Okay. Then we can see next one. Three black cross. The close price is lower and lower. If you see the candlestick pattern appears in the share down chain or up chain, which means that the the share or market is weak. Okay. So we can see the next 